In the past three years that I've been living in this bus, this is the first time that I'm gonna be doing it completely alone. And it's the middle of winter and I'm scared. Ugh. And that's because I'm headed to Florida to help us plus a bus build a massive solar system. Bye, love you. Bye, love you. Two weeks. It's gonna be terrible. Probably. I'm gonna die. Oh, look at this. Oh, this, stuff, this stuff's next level over here. What's up, buddy? I just feel really weird being in here by myself. I think this is gonna be tough for me, honestly, because I am never alone. And just the struggle of it being winter, and so there's like a lot of tasks that I'm gonna have to like take care of. And I work the next four days. It's my last week of work, 12 hour shifts. And we have the pets, so I have to make sure this bus is nice and warm. It's gonna be a little rough the next few days. Oh boy. So I feel like I'm already running into my first issue. The shore power is not kicking back on. You can see we're at 76% battery, but this should be showing shore power and it's not. What do I do guys? You tell me. Ugh. This gives me anxiety. So I'm barely waking up and still having problems with the electric. It's at 34% and it keeps clicking on and off shore power and like now I have to go to work and I'm going to be gone for 12 hours and I don't know what this is going to do. So. <sighs> Ugh. Another day, another x-ray. That's what I say. Made it to my job. I've been working as a travel x-ray technologist here in Bend, Oregon for the past six months. And this is my last 12 hour shift. But that also means 12 more hours of worrying about the pets being warm in the bus or if the solar is doing okay. I just don't know. I have one hour till I'm officially off for six plus months. And I'm so excited. I cannot wait. Cannot wait. I cannot like even say just like how grateful and like blessed I am to be living this lifestyle and Archie! Hey buddy! Hi! Oh goodness, goodness! Hi! I know you miss him, I do too. It's already like 80 degrees here at 11 o'clock in the morning. Look at these palm trees, it's just beautiful. I really hope Bree's doing okay. I think she is finding out that she's stronger than she thinks she is. Um, I take care of like all the, the things to stay warm, like all the systems, diesel heater and wood stove and all that. So she's learning a lot. Good morning. I think the main thing she's learning is like she can definitely do this. We are gonna turn the couch into a bed, get cozy, get comfy, probably turn on like a Christmas movie or something. I don't know, but let's do it. Let's get to bed out, Archie. Come on. And right when I thought everything was getting better, everything completely fell apart. So this is terrible. I've been without power since 1 a.m. And Archie and I just cuddled under like 50 blankets to stay warm last night. And now I'm dealing with it. I'm like so miserable, honestly. Our batteries drain to zero. I lose power, so therefore I have no diesel heater, no mini split, and I only have the wood burning stove. The problem I'm having with the wood burning stove now even though we just cleaned it, is that smoke and flames. I'm not joking, I'm kind of freaked out by it every time I open it, just like bellows in. It's freaking me out because I know that's how fires can happen. Now I am up here 
trying to clean off the solar panels and to only get sun for like maybe an hour up here. So <sighs> this is this is a wild. I'm pretty sure I just told you guys yesterday I was doing fine without Devin, but I am not. Cover RTF and East Coast. Yeah, he's a little baby. We need to talk about your game plan here. So you get the dur logs, you make sure the batteries don't go below 50% so that the diesel heater, like that's the big, the diesel heater will save you by itself. Yeah, I just have to watch the electric. All right, I love you, you got this. Love you too. All right, bye. Bye. I'm a little worried about her, to be honest. Like it feels really crappy being here, but like I know she can do it. She just hasn't really been forced to do it. And that also might be my fault that I didn't make her do this earlier. I've just been like feeling so defeated this morning with losing power and it being so cold and the water froze and yeah, just not having any power. But things are looking up. I have a game plan. I'm gonna run into town, get some dura logs so the fire will last through the evening. I am gonna constantly watch the electric. If our batteries get down to 50%, the mini split is off. There's a bunch of wood chopped up, so I'm gonna bring in the wood and get it like inside. I'm gonna climb up on the roof again, clean off the chimney a little bit. Things are looking up. We're gonna make it. Just out here surviving, you know? Surviving without Devin in the winter. I got this. the town first that's all i know got the doggos archie and Stu riding with us you're with me i guess because devin's not here we are headed to go get diesel in the tank i go by winco and get some dura logs found the goods dura plane this is what we need Got the diesel tank filled up, so now we are headed home. All right, we made it back, buddy. Come on, let's go. He doesn't think he can do it with his boots on. He always struggles. Come on, buddy, you can do it. Come on. Come on, Stu. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go try and chop those logs. Tilo, quit being a little shit. Stay in your ground, huh? <laughs> it's about to get really cold because now the sun's going down. I'm so bad at this. Every time. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. This is not bad at all, actually. This is pretty easy. Look at all that soot. Oh, man. I don't even know if this is helping. Despite it all, I just have like a lot to be thankful for, so I just need to keep my mind geared to positivity and just think on the good things. To be living this lifestyle is actually incredible. It's just Every now and then you have a handful of days that are just a little tougher than most. Today was one of them, but we got through it. We're making it. The sun is setting. A lot to be thankful for. Yeah. This journey might not seem like much for most, but I'm really proud of myself for doing something I've never done. Come on, take it Come on. I'm looking forward to being reunited with Devin, but now I know I'm ready to take on whatever comes my way. Come on. Archie, who is that? Who is that, Archie? Who is that? Archie, it's dead! Who is it? Oh my goodness. Oh, hi. 
Finally back. Good, how are you? You survived. <laughs>